Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 65. So, what is the value of x? Let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have 3 to the power of x, subtract 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 65. Now, we can express 3 to the power of x as 3 to the power of x raised to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 1. This is equal to 65. Now, we can express 1. This is the same thing as 2 over 2. Now, substituting this, then this means we have 3 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 2 over 2. This is equal to 65. Now, 3 to the power of x to the power of one, 2 over 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n, this to the power of m, that we can express as a to the power of n times m. So this means that here, we can transform this as 3 to the power of x over 2, raised to the power of 2, then subtract 2 to the power of x over 2, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 65. The next step is that we can let 3 to the power of x over 2 be equal to a. And we can let 2 to the power of x over 2 be equal to b. Substituting a and b, then this means we have a squared minus b squared. This is equal to 65. Now, a squared minus b squared, this is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 65. Now, we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 65. So, we have to note that here, a and b these are members of positive integers. And we have that x here. x is a member of positive integers. Now, the next step from here, we have that a plus b. This is greater than a minus b. a plus b is greater than a minus b. Now we have that a plus b is greater than a minus b. So this implies that here we have that a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 65. Now the next step is to get the prime factors of 65. And these prime factors we have 65 times 1. This is equal to 65. Then we have 1 times 65. This will give us a value of 65. Then we have 13 multiplied by 5. This is also give us 65. And 5 times 13. Now, we have that a plus b is greater than a minus b. So 65 is greater than 1. So this satisfies the condition here. 1 is less than 65. So this is rejected. 13 is greater than 5. So this satisfies the equation. Then we have that 5 is less than 13, so this is rejected. So this means we have two cases here. We have case 1 here, and we have case 2. Now let's start with case 1. Let's start with case 1 here. We have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 65 multiplied by 1. And this means that we can form system of linear equation here. That is a plus b. This is equal to 65. And we have that a minus b. This is equal to 1. So this is a system of two linear equations. And let's sum these two system of linear equations. We have a plus a. This is 2a. Then b plus minus b. This simplifies. Then this is equal to 65 plus 1. This is 66. So let's Divide both signs by 2, and this means that the value of a here is equal to that 3. Now, 
The next step is we can solve for the value of b. Remember a plus b, this is equal to 65. Substituting the value of a here, we have that 3 plus b, this is equal to 65. So this means that b is equal to 65, subtract 33, and therefore b is equal to 32. So we have that a, comma b, this is equal to 33, comma 32. And if we recall, now we have that a, comma b, this is 33, comma 32. And if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let 3 to the power of x over 2 be equal to a and 2 to the power of x over 2 be equal to b. Now, this means that we have 3 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to a, which is 33. And we have 2 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to b, which is 32. Now, if we compare here, the bases here, we have a base of 3 here, we have a base of 33. On the second part here, we have a base of 2, and here we have a base of 32. Now, due to different bases here, then this means that we cannot be able to obtain an integer solution. So in this case, we are saying that due to different, due to different bases, then there will be no integer solution. There will be no integer solution. And therefore, case 1 is rejected. Case 1 is rejected. Case 1 is rejected. So let's proceed to case 2. Let's proceed to case 2. In case 2, we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 13 multiplied by 5. And this implies that... So now we can form two system of linear equations here. a plus b is equal to 13. a minus b, this is equal to 5. So let's sum these two linear equations here. a plus a, this is 2a. b plus minus b, this simplifies. Then this is equal to 13 plus 5, this is 18. So let's divide both signs by 2. And this implies that a is equal to 18 defined by 2, which is 9. So we have the value of a as 9. We can solve for the value of b. Remember a plus b, this is equal to 13. So substituting a, which is 9, plus b, this is 13. Let's take 9 on the right-hand side, so that b will be equal to 13 minus 9. And this implies that the value of b here will be equal to 4. So we have the value of a equal to 9 and the value of b equal to 4. Now, we can solve for the values of x. Now, if you recall, we have that 3 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to a. And remember, a here is 9. And we have that 2 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to b, and b here is equal to 4. Now, the next step is that from here, we can express 9 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So this is 3 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to 3 to the power of 2. Now, if we compare the bases here, we have the same bases here. That implies that a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m. And since the bases are common here, exponent n is equal to m. And therefore, we have x over 2. This is equal to 2. So let's multiply both signs by 2. And this implies that the value of x here is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. So we have the value of x equal to 4. Now, let's check here. Let's check on the other side here. Here we have 2 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to 4. Now, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So this implies we have 2 to the power of x over 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Again, the bases are common here. So this implies that x over 2 
this is equal to, to 2. So let's multiply both signs by 2. And therefore, we have the value of x equal to 4. So this means that the value of x is 4. Now, the next step is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation as follows. Now, if you recall here, we end at 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 65. Now, substituting the value of x here, we have 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 65. So, 3 to the power of 4, this is 81. Minus 2 to the power of 4, this is 16. And this should give us a value of 65. 81 minus 16, this is equal to 65, which is equal to 65. So this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of x here, which is equal to 4, satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and please subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.